Hello everyone, good morning. Today I'm gonna show you some explanation about how I do the hair. So basically, we'll be working two rounds in the same stitches. You'll be doing the locks of hair in the front loops and then you do the increases in the back loop. So here, this is round two, round four, and round six. And then basically what I'm doing now is I'm working on this round, round six, only in the front loops of these stitches here, right? So I will be working on the front loops to do the locks of hair. And then I'll have these back loops here, as you can see, to work the increases on the next round. And then I keep moving like that. I'll be working in the front loops for the locks of hair and then in the back loops for the increases. So you see here, for this hair particularly, I'm doing three single crochets and then I start my chain and then I come back in the chain doing half double crochet. So I'll show you here how I do. So you see here, I will just release this one so I can show you. So you see here the stitch, I'll get only the front loop. This is the third single crochet I'm doing. And then like one, two, three, and then I'll start doing my chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you do your chain with the number advised on the pattern. Right, so now I have here my chain. I chained 70, and then I'll go back, if I want to have a smooth hair, I will work half double crochet. And I, I wanna, I don't want it to be curly in the end, so I'll do quite a loose stitch here. I'll keep working half double crochet, not very tight. If you don't want to have a curly hair, three, four. Five, six, and then you keep working half double crochet until you reach the end of your chain. So now that we are here, nearly finishing our chain, I'll just complete here one. Then the last half double crochet. And then you're ready to connect here. Again, you will work only in the front loops. So you do three single crochets, only in front loops, like here. Hope you can see well. One, and then the other front loop here. two, and then three. From here again, we will start another chain of 70. Again, here we set, we have 70 chain. We work back doing half double crochet. Again, remember to do quite a loose stitch. One, two, three, 
three, four. Actually, you don't need to count these stitches. You go all your way back. Right, everyone? So here, we are now in the very end of round six. I'll show you how to connect this last one and how to work on round seven, right? So here, after the last lock of hair, we'll do a slip stitch in the next stitch. Just to connect it. And then I'll do a chain. Now turn my work to the other side. You see here, you have the back loops that you left unworked. You have here 18 unworked back loops, and then you need to turn them into 24. So you need to work two single crochets and one increase all the way round. We'll start that just now. So the first so this is the first single crochet. So we do one and then only the back loops two increase. You're gonna do that six times. Then one two Increase. Then you do one, two, increase. Oh, sorry. That's the increase. One, two, increase, and one, two, Increase last one, one, two, increase. So you see what we have here. Now we have 24 full stitches to start working on the eighth round, right? So that's gonna be starting from here, the very first one of the round. For these ones, you start working only again in the front loops to do your locks of hair. So sometimes it's difficult to get the front loop of the, of the very first one, but let's see. So here we'll do one only on the front loop, two, and then three, and we will start our chain of 70. Uh, in some patterns, I use two single crochet, in some patterns only one single crochet before starting the chain. But for this hair, I'm doing three single crochets and then I start to chain 70. Well, back here, we have 70 chain. What I'll do again, I will come back in the chain doing half double crochet. When I reach here, I will do 
again three single crochets only in the front loops only do another chain and then what you see again is that you're going to have 24 unworked back loops here to start the following round hope that was helpful guys see you in the next video